Hello everyone and welcome to our new Christmas series, The Real Christmas Story. We're so excited that you're here today. My name is Manny and if you're new, we're even more excited because every week we send mail out to all of our friends. It's a super fun letter with super fun surprises in it. And if you wanna be one of the people that gets one of those every week, we want you to text in your name and new to this number on the screen and we'll start sending them to you every week. So I watched last week and I saw that Miss Tammy got a present when she got here and I thought, I wonder if I'll get a present when I go there. And I got here and I have a present. I'm so excited to open it, but first, I need you all to get nice and quiet so we can pray. God, we thank you for all the wonderful gifts that we get this time of year. We thank you for your plan and that you have a plan for every single one of us and that your plan is perfect. And I thank you for all these boys and girls watching, their friends, their family, and I ask that you be with all of them and keep them safe, happy, and healthy, and be with them as they go through their week. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, so I am so excited to open this present, but we have a song. And I know we learned about angels last week, so we have a song about angels. And I think some of you might know it. So we'll play it and we'll be right back. Okay, is everybody ready to open this? I can't wait to figure out what it is. So, hmm, what could it be? Um, this is kind of weird. It's a Santa sleeping mask? This wasn't on my Christmas list, so I'm really confused. Miss Tammy got an angel last week. And an angel was in the Christmas story, so does this mean that Santa Claus is in the real Christmas story? I'm confused, but I'm gonna go ahead and just try this on here and see. Oh, I'm getting so tired. 
you guys can um, um, watch our watch our video, and I'm just gonna take a quick little nap here. God has a plan for our lives, and we can trust Him even when we don't understand all that He is doing. There's a story in the Bible where we see this is true. There was a man named Joseph, and he was a carpenter living in the town of Galilee. Joseph was engaged to a young woman named Mary and learned that she was going to have a baby. This didn't make him very happy, which makes sense because they weren't even married yet. You see, Mary knew this was going to happen because an angel told her it would. It was all part of God's plan. One night, while Joseph was asleep, an angel from the Lord came to him in a dream. The angel said, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to accept Mary to be your wife. The baby inside her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son. You will name him Jesus. Give him that name because he will save his people from their sins. This all happened exactly how God said it would many, many years earlier. God told his people that one day a special woman would be pregnant and give birth to a son. This baby would be called Emmanuel, which means God is with us. This is another name for Jesus. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel told him to do and got married to Mary. God had a plan for Joseph and Mary, and they trusted his plan. Even though you may not be sure about what God is doing through some of the crazy things happening in your life, you can trust him. God did have a plan for Joseph and Mary, and God has a plan for your life too. I'm awake and you're back. So I also found a letter that says my name on it. So I'm gonna open it and see what it says. I know Miss Tammy got a letter last week. So I wonder, oh, it's another question. It says, was Santa Claus a part of the real Christmas story in the Bible? Well, funny you should ask whoever you are because we were just talking about that. So I have a question. Did any of you see Santa Claus in the Christmas video we just watched? No, I didn't think so, right? But we're gonna look in the Bible because that's where we can find all the parts of the real Christmas story. So if you wanna read it with me, we're gonna open up our Bibles to the book of Matthew, which is the first book in the New Testament, chapter one, verses 18 through 20. This is how the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. No Santa there, right boys and girls? So that story was kind of cool and I realize now why I got the sleeping mask, because the angel appeared to Joseph in a dream. And you know what I love about that story and about Joseph is that God had a plan for him. And it wasn't necessarily what he thought his plan was, just kind of like we don't think of the same plan as God does for us, right? Sometimes we think, why is this happening? This doesn't make any sense. This is not how I thought things should go. And then we realize that God's plan for us is perfect all along. And you know what it makes me think? What if I told you all we were like a piece in a puzzle? And I wanna show you what I mean, just in case it doesn't make any sense. So I have this puzzle right here, and it's got all of the people from the Bible story in it, okay? So the Christmas Bible story. So say you and I are kind of seeing what God sees, right? God sees the full picture so we can see what this puzzle is gonna look like in the end. God can see what our lives are gonna look like in the end, okay? So then 
I have this puzzle piece here, and say this puzzle piece is my son Adam, okay? So this puzzle piece is meant to go right here in the shepherd spot. So say I told Adam, okay, Adam, you have to go in the shepherd spot on the puzzle. And he says, Mom, I don't want to be a shepherd. I want to be a wise man. See, I can fit right here. And if you just, you know, cut this piece off right here, and I can, oh, this is so uncomfortable, but I really want to. And I say, Adam, it's uncomfortable because it's not what you were made to be. It's not what you were made to do. You were created to fit right here in this special spot on the puzzle. And it fits so well and so perfect. And look at the bigger picture in the end. And then the wise man has a spot to go in the puzzle too. You see, boys and girls, God can see the bigger picture just like we can see the full puzzle. But we're just a piece of the puzzle, so we can only see what's right in front of us. We can only see our part in the puzzle. We can't see everything. And God has a plan for me, and he has a plan for you too. And we have to trust that he sees the bigger picture and that he knows each and every one of our stories and each and every one of our futures, and we just have to trust him. Okay, boys and girls, that's all I have for you today. And if I don't see you before Christmas, Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. Yeah.